fight. And Kyle Bachniak, very aggressive, closing that distance, trying to mitigate that reach advantage. And bobbing and weaving like Mike Tyson here. Appropriate for New York. It's the right strategy, closing the distance on the taller guy. Yeah, it certainly is. The difference is in these two and the way they move, that Kyle Bachniak does everything very well. Whereas Zabit is elite. He's elite in his movements, elite in his striking. It doesn't mean that Kyle can't crack him, but it means he's got, it's a tough puzzle to solve. One thing though, you don't, look at that sidekick. You don't get into a technique battle with a technician, you brawl him, that's what yes. he's trying to do. Yeah. And, that, and that's a smart move, I believe. He's standing on the outside with this really long guy who's got fantastic striking, he's a terrible idea. But look how calm Zabit is. That's it, man. The, the composure, the fluidity for a relative UFC newcomer less than a year on the roster. Looks the part, man. I think when you grow up in Dagestan, this is nothing. <laughs> Look, you ask what's in the water. They don't have any, okay? That, you know, when you grow up and you're hungry and you're, you're fighting to live, you know, this isn't gonna scare you, man. Right. Blood's in the water. Yeah, 100%. 10 straight wins for Magomed Sharif. Pavi has finished his last eight victories. Ooh. Man, that, Kyle felt that one. Look yeah, at that right elbow went down. That right arm immediately protected those ribs. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, man, he is swinging for the bleachers. So the experts to my right like the approach for Kyle Bokniak out of the shoot. Just over three minutes to go here, round one. The composure and the technique is what's most impressive. Look at that spin into the right, the left hook, and then the right spinning back kick. And look at the composure, just yeah. relaxed. Seeing what's in front of him. Like a world champion, really. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Went with the Sanchai. And some speed on that, too, baby. And how many times does Sanchai recover and land on his feet? Not a lot. <laughs> Love Sanchai, but he can fall and they'll start him up again. Yeah, that's the difference, that right? Beautiful. <laughs> Look him up, kids, if you don't know Sanchai, Sir Kingstar. Mago met Sharipov, lifelong athlete, started freestyle wrestling at 10 years old. Coming up on 20 years of combat sports experience. There's a big advantage with that reach, man. That is a frustrating thing to try to get in on a guy that tall at 145 pounds. And look at all the head Ooh. movement that was there early in the fight. All the head movement, a lot of it's gone away. That takes a lot of energy. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. torso moving, a lot of bob, a lot of explosion. Look at the mark on the right side of his ribs and yeah. Kyle Bachman from that left kick. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Bachman sticks the jab. So far, Bachman showing no fear, stepping yeah. forward. He's a tough dude. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh Jesus! Look at that. Jump and switch kick. But right back to his feet. Yep. That's the impressive thing to me. Not throwing it, the recovery so fast. A lot of guys can throw that. You wind up on your butt. Bakniak is essentially just bobbing and weaving, trying to punch. Whereas he's got to close so much more distance. If, if he had a better kicking game, he'd be able to work that leg, especially that left front leg. Oh, man. Phenomenal high kick there. Wrapped it right around that right ear of Kyle Bakniak. It's the way he's doing it, too. It's so fluid. When you talk to Mark Henry and Ricardo Almeida about this guy, they just light up. You want to talk about an underrated coach. Mark Henry is one of the best of the best. Fantastic. And such a mind for fighting. Well, the kicking game, big part of the repertoire for Zabit. He has landed 16 and counting here in round one. And Ricardo Almeida, decent jiu-jitsu, you know. <laughs> pretty good on that side of the spectrum. Got to give him some love. Oh, man. Oh. This guy is so fast. And again, always in a good position. Even if he misses, he's always ready to fire back. And the hard part is getting ready for a guy like this. I need a 145 pounder who's almost six foot two in this quick. You're not gonna find you're this kind of sparring, sparring partners, you're just not. Yeah, you're not. And, and if you find a guy who's as good as him on the ground, you're not gonna find a guy who's as good as him on the feet and not as good in transitions. I mean, he's got a very advanced game. Sabit thought about a late shot. Both guys connect in that exchange. 
strong five Woo. minutes between Mago Sharipov and Pacquiao. This, this for me, a guy who loves technique, this is a pleasure to watch a guy like this move around. The kicks of Zabit. Look at this switch kick. Dude, that's hard to do. And to do it, look at that. Wrap that left leg around the head of Kyle Bakniak and give Kyle credit for being a tough bastard because he took that You're starting to moving. keep bad distance. Okay, the bad distance is when he can set up and start to tee off. He doesn't like the pressure, but when you move forward, you've got to be changing levels up and down. Touch the body, then come upstairs because he's just fading. Pete. Yeah, you got him with two punches, Kyle. Easy. You're not finishing with the third, fourth, and fifth. Okay. You're letting him off the hook. The first second gets you in. Third, fourth takes him out, right? Remember that. Yep. Uh, upstairs, up. downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. Great wrestling defense. Great wrestling defense. You probably won that round. You probably won that round. And Joe, this is the first time you've seen Zabit live. I know you saw his previous yes. fight, right? So yes, uh, I'm very behold, impressed, man. and I was looking forward to this very much so. And it's living up to the hype, 100. percent And there is a difference when you see someone in the flesh, when you can gauge it with your eyes in right. real time. You go, oh yeah, you're looking at something special. Yeah. Bakniak starting round one, round two, similarly to the way he started round one. And he's as game as they come. And Bakniak's corner advice wasn't wrong. Get in there. You're right. at the wrong range. Hit him with more than two or three. You got to throw a lot of combinations to get inside on a tall guy, but easier said than done. Was Bakniak just taking a page out of Max Holloway's book? Uh, I, I think he did. He asked him to stand right in front. And Zabit's like, nah, I'll just kick you in the ribs, dude. <laughs> Don't expect a fighter from Dagestan to get all emotional on you. Yeah, look at that yeah. beautiful dog. Oh, under. man. Oh, man. And again, Zabit can do this just as well as he can strike. This is what's crazy about this guy. And when they're this close, you see the size difference. Zabit is a giant at 145. Yeah, just really unusually yeah. built. Look at that, kick that leg out, gets the hook, triangles it up behind his knee. He's so good. He's so good, man. That easy transition, body lock to double leg. A lot of people would have gone high and given that up, gone back to the clinch. He immediately changes level. And we have to realize that we're looking at a guy who's only had two fights in the octagon. Right. This is his third MMA fight in the UFC. And he's yet to face world-class opposition. But what you're seeing from him is world-class talent. Right. Well, and largely a lot of the world-class competition doesn't want much to do with this yes. guy. Yeah, he's a very avoided guy, and you're seeing why. And again, me watching it at home, I was impressed. But we, me watching it live, I'm like, oh, okay. It's everything. It's the way it's all glued together. It's right. not just the kicks and the punches. It's the way they flow together. The people who really follow this sport were thrilled this fight moved up, right? Yes. I was personally like, man, you gotta see this. Yes. I was telling everybody I knew, you gotta see this and tune in early. Now it's on the main card. And again, I like the fact that Bakniak oh, wow. is the one that's fighting him, because this kid's a stud. Look at him. Bakniak choking in the hands. That's craziness. Pointed at his chin, come get it. He's an animal. Oh, and he tagged him with the right hand there. He just doesn't have enough weapons. His wrestling's not as sharp. His punches are his main weapon, and he doesn't complement them enough with kicks. But the, what he does have, he's throwing. Yes. A lot of pride behind that. And what he does have is heart. Yeah. Unquestionable heart. And this dude is trying to win this fight. He's just a little outgunned right now. Two minutes now to go in this second round. But eight. A lesser fighter, I'm sorry, would be showing physical surrender at this point. You know, backing yes, up, going, right, man, yes. just want this over with. Kyle Bakniak does it. He wants to fight. Right. He, a lesser fighter would be trying to avoid damage. Kyle Bakniak is wading into the fire. Look at that. Hands down, cocky. I mean, he's trying to goad this guy into a war where he gets a... Oh, come on, son. Too good. Come on. But look at this. Bakniak fighting off his back. Grabbing a hold of that wrist. You sound almost disappointed, Joe. <laughs> How did he 
really do that? That's no, great that stuff. was like, come on, like I'm confused. That is, <laughs> I gotta learn that. That's what I said. That was beautiful. Going back to the gym. I'm 100% I'm gonna watch this fight and see that again afterwards. It's not there. Armbar's just not deep enough. Hips aren't in the right place. Going to Maplata, but. But he used it to get back up to his feet. Bakniak's an animal. Some pretty significant swelling now that Bakniak will have to deal with. Less than a minute here to go round two. But like Zabit does not have to worry about leg kicks. Zabit does not have to worry about doubles. You know what I'm saying? It's like right. Bakniak is a tough, tough dude, but he just doesn't have a well-rounded arsenal. Not a submission threat there's per a, se. There's a takedown attempt. Way Easily too far stuck. outside. Way yeah. too far outside. When you have to worry about two weapons, your opponent has to worry about seven. It's a yeah. different kind of fight. Yeah. Oh, look at that spinning back fist. Oh, caught him with a knee, stepping in. Oh, yeah, just out of range with that right hand. Still trying to close the distance. Zabit sticks and moves. Man. Oh! oh! Man. That last one cut the forehead very badly. Look at Kyle Bakniak's forehead. And it was caused by the volume of strikes, everything working out for Magomed Sharipov. Look at this mat return, beautiful stuff. And look at this outside trip, man, gorgeous right to his back. Look at this beautifully timed knee right to the jaw. A lot of fighters would be quitting, would be folding, would be thinking about their next fight, but not Kyle Bakniak. Yeah, Bakniak's an animal. I need more punches and I need your feet to come with you. Okay. I need the feet and straighten that right hand out, Pete. Wait a minute now, right Kyle? Yeah. You gotta move your head before you punch this time. This is where the difference is. You move your head, head before you punch. Head is right in the way. You gotta dip. And then you gotta rip. Second Slip down. and rip, baby. Slip and rip. Second Move down. ahead before you Second punch. Down. Make it happen, Kyle. Make it happen, Kyle. The Gloucester, Massachusetts native, Kyle Bokniak, one tough customer. And some pointed advice there, guys, I would think, from John Clark and Peter Welsh. I mean, they're doing what they can to get their fight fighter tactically back in this fight. His heart's there, his guts are there. Tactically, he needs to find his own offense. Yeah, listen, I'll take this over everything else. You can teach a guy skills. You can't teach a guy to be this. What Kyle Bakniak is is a savage. Look at him. The kid's taking a beating for two rounds, gets off his chair and gives us a Ric Flair. <laughs> and now that forehand leaking Look pretty good there for goes, There's another one. You want to be the man, you got to beat the man. That's what Kyle Bokniak's trying to do. This kid has a, a very, very strong mind. There's no question about that. He just doesn't have all the weapons. He's right. got good hands, but he's at a reach disadvantage with a guy who's more explosive and crisper technically. And he doesn't have a lot of kicks. Oh, oh man, look at Perfect timing on that. Caught him coming in yeah. with a spinning kick and shortened up on it. Bent his leg just enough to catch him on the chin. Perfectly. But you just see it as such a well-rounded arsenal from this guy. I'm telling you, this fight is worth the admission price tonight. The ooze and odds reverberating throughout this Barclay Center. Bokniak thought about grabbing the fence there, thought better of it. And you haven't seen any of that. Why won't this guy go away kind of frustration? Right. He always resets. Zabit never seems to get demoralized by the fact that he's throwing a lot of punches and his opponent's still in front of him. He's still very, very focused. Both these guys, unbelievably strong mentally. Yeah, I, I think Zabit is showing just an overall well-roundedness. Mentally, physically, very, very impressive. I want to see him against a top 10 contender next. I think everybody does, Joe, after yeah. this. And he's trying to talk to the referee. Look, Kyle's like, come on, man, he's not doing anything. <laughs> he's trying to con the referee into letting him stand up. He's in bad position, he knows it. And despite the beating, Bokniak would appear to have plenty left in the tank. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Turns around, and nope. Denied. Just sticky with the takedown. Top pressure right after he takes him down, doesn't let him off the hook. Oh, 
Already 10 shots in this fight from Zabit Magomed Sharipov. He has landed six of those takedown attempts. And we would not be seeing such a well-rounded overall game if it wasn't for the heart of Kyle Bakhniak. Yep. The fact that Kyle is hanging in there, it's making Zabit pull out everything he has and show us his full game. That's what's so exciting about this. It takes two to tango. Look at that. Just everything he's got to get up. And Zabit stays right on him. Right on him. And perhaps Bokniak thinking if he can survive these oh, final two shook minutes. Him off. He shook him off. He got to the leg, though. Peel that leg away. And look at beautiful stand-up. Wrist control. Great wrestling stand-up. Bokniak trying to keep that physical pressure on. He's got to pull him back to get anything done. Has to free his left hand. The beat must be very strong to be able to hold on to that arm with so long one with hand. one hand. That's crazy. Yeah. Four-time Russian champion and integrated combat, making his third UFC appearance here tonight. He has been must-see TV oh, every man. step of the way. Look at that. Pretty good level change there. Bakhniak snuffed it out, though. He's showing some signs of slowing down. He's yeah. human with a minute to go. Yeah, check the clock there. It reads one minute in this third and final round. If Bokniak was going to turn it on and get this fight back, it's got to oh. be now in the last minute. Like you said, Joseph, first time Zabit has looked human. Brooklyn crowd Bokniak kept behind tackle. these two warriors. Zabit looked at the clock again. What a rocky story this would be. Only 30 seconds left. Deep breath from Bokniak. We'll see if he's got one final flurry here. Bokniak coming on strong. He connected with that right hand. Oh! Spinning from oh. Zabit. Look at this. Oh! This Whoa. is crazy. Pleasure. I don't Man. see anyone sitting down right now, and they shouldn't be. Woo. Incredible. That was amazing. And maybe Kyle Bokniak will get an extra 50 G's for his effort, seemingly in defeat tonight. But you knew Zabit was the real deal, and you got to think Bokniak's fan base is going to swell as well after this one. What wow. a fight. That was amazing. That was amazing from both guys. And here's Zabit with a beautiful left kick to the body. Here's that switch kick. And Kyle showing good defense there. There's that jump spinning back kick to the chest. And here's one of the takedowns. And look at this beautiful trip. I mean, come on. The timing in that was phenomenal. This guy really, truly is special. Here's the end. What an animal Kyle Bokniak is. After three rounds of going to war, He's still pouring it on with seconds to go. Absolutely phenomenal fight. You want to be fight of the night? You got to top this. And that's going to be hard to do. And could you imagine if that had been the first fight of the night as was initially scheduled as fight week began? It's all I would be talking about right now. Yeah. So every fight we'd go, man, you got to, we'd be referencing it every minute of this card. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29 28, 30 27, and 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Zombie!